This past Christmas season, when you were watching Muppets Christmas Carol for the millionth time, you may have noticed an in memory of for a name you didn't recognize. The film released in 1992 was dedicated to the memories of Jim Henson and Richard Hunt. Obviously, if you're watching a Muppet film, you're familiar with Henson, but most people aren't as familiar with Richard Hunt. On January 7, 1992, Richard Hunt died of HIV, just 16 months after the Muppets founder Jim Henson passed. While Henson's legacy has been well documented and the remaining original Muppeteers had decided to make themselves household names, Richard Hunt's legacy is often forgotten. As certified Muppet nerds, we at Geekscape wanted to tell you about Richard Hunt and the many Muppets he made famous. Hunt came from a family of performers and had a particular knack for puppeteering. As a fan of the Muppets, he actively pursued a desire to work with them. Eventually, he cold called Jim Henson from a payphone and was invited to audition for Sesame Street. Hunt got his start doing background characters on Sesame Street, but following the Muppet special, The Frog Prince, began having a more predominant role within the team. While he was not the superstar that Frank Oz or Jim Henson were, here's just a few of the classic characters he played. Two-Headed Monster Richard Hunt came up with the idea of Two-Headed Monster with Muppet performer and friend Jerry Nelson. Two-Headed Monster was known for their nonsense language that you could just slightly understand. In an interview in 1999, Jerry Nelson recalled that they were goofing around on set one day and a writer asked them what they were doing and they quickly said, one monster but two heads, and the writer ran with it. After his death, the character was briefly retired until 1998 when it was resurrected by Jerry Nelson with David Redman. David Redman continues to be one half of the two-headed monster to this day. Gladys the Cow Gladys is easily the most famous of the many cows seen on Sesame Street. The self-obsessed bovine aspires to be a big star as an actor, singer, or dancer. The cow puppet has been around Sesame Street for a few seasons, but it was in Richard Hunt's hands that Gladys took on a personality that could not be ignored. Gladys was retired for over a decade following Richard Hunt's past, but has been performed by Jennifer Barnhart for the last two decades. Scooter. Richard Hunt's primary Muppet was the Muppet Show gopher Scooter. From the start of the sketch show until the final episode, Scooter assisted Kermit and frequently performed songs like Simon Smith and the Amazing Dancing Bear or The New Sound. The character was retired for 17 years following Hunt's passing and similarly to the two-headed monster has been revived by David Redman. Janice. Most famous for being the lead guitarist of Electric Mayhem, Janice was also an actress appearing in the Veterinarian's Hospital sketches. This laid-back hippie rocker is notable for her valley girl style of talking, and most of the inspiration of her design and name came from Janis Joplin. In the first season, Janis was performed by Aaron Osgar, but had none of the memorable traits and attitudes that we know and love with Janis. Those came into being once Hunt took over. Similarly to Scooter, David Rudman took over the character after a 17-year hiatus following Hunt's death. Statler. One half of the iconic balcony hecklers, Hunt and Henson made this dynamic duo one of the most memorable characters of The Muppet Show. Statler is known for his more rectangular face compared to Waldorf's rounder face. The duo have been part of The Muppets since the pilot episode, Sex and Violence, and unlike many of the other Muppets we've listed thus far, they did not have a retirement period following Hunt's death. Instead, both characters were taken over by Muppeteers Jerry Nelson and Dave Goals. Beaker. While Dr. Bunsen Honeydew and Muppet Labs was part of the Muppet show from the jump, many would be shocked to find that his hapless assistant Beaker didn't come until the second season. This easily recognized Muppet tends to be the victim of any lab experiment gone awry. Occasionally, he's even sung on the show, despite only being able to say the word, me. <laughs> Just like Statler, Beaker did not get retired following Hunt's death and it was Steve Whitmire who took over the role for Muppet's Christmas Carol, Sweetums. Sweetums is the second most famous full-body Muppet behind Big Bird. For 1971's The Frog Prince, Jerry Nelson performed the character, but it was Richard Hunt who transformed the scary ogre into the gentle giant we know and love today. Following Richard's passing, Jim Henson's son John took over the character. Although for Muppet Vision 3D, he had performed inside the suit already, with Hunt only providing the vocal talent. Junior Gorg Richard Hunt provided the voice and controlled the face of Pa Ma Gore's son, Junior, during the entire five-season run of Fraggle Rock. While Richard Hunt performed various other characters on Fraggle Rock, Junior was his most known and loved character. Don Music Debuting in 1974, 
Don Music was an agonized composer constantly suffering from writer's block. His sketches involved Kermit interviewing him about a new song. Often, he'd get frustrated and bang his head on the piano keys yelling, Oh, I'll never get it! Never! Kermit would usually help Don finish the song, and then it'd be performed by Little Chrissy and the Alpha Beats. The character made only a few brief appearances following Hunt's death, and was abandoned because of complaints that kids were imitating his self-harm. In 2019, he began to slowly resurface, now voiced by Ryan Dillon. Forgetful Jones It's okay if you can't remember Forgetful Jones. He probably forgot himself also, as his defining trait was his inability to remember things. While the character debuted in 1980, performed by Michael Earle, it was the following year when Richard Hunt took over, the character Forgetful Jones became a regular occurring character. But after Hunt passed away, the character was retired and has been reserved as a non-speaking background Muppet ever since. Finally, while we've mentioned a few characters that weren't working until Hunt got his hands on them, he wasn't flawless. In fact, Richard Hunt was the original performer of Miss Piggy, but was not able to find any spark for the character. It wasn't until Frank Oz took over the character that we got the frog-loving, karate-chopping diva we love today. Richard Hunt was the first openly gay Muppet puppeteer. Henson used The Muppet Show and Sesame Street as an opportunity to push the boundaries of what he could do and discuss, and allowed Richard Hunt to add subtle queer references. Richard Hunt was easily the least known and recognized of the five core Muppeteers, but he was beloved by his co-workers and many of the guests on the show. He may not be the name you think of when you think of the Muppets, but his impact and influence on the style of the Muppets as both a performer and a director is still felt to this day.